And you're back with the Expresso here on SABC3, your feel-good breakfast show. It is a feel-good Friday, and we have our experts in studio here to help us with everything that we need to know on every situation we get into these days. Now, pet overpopulation and euthanasia is a continuing problem, but how can we be part of the solution? We're talking about dog sterilization this morning and why spaying or neutering your dog is an important part of being a responsible pet owner. Dr. Harris is here to shed more light on the situation this morning. Good morning, Dr. Harris. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Good, good. When you hear our dogs, they just they just go crazy because they know that the expert is in the house. <laughs> yeah, especially Bob. I've seen Death. he's looking good after that op. He, he yeah. is, he yeah. is really. Yeah. Now, let's talk about sterilization this morning. Why is yeah. it such an important thing? Look, there's, there's two sides to sterilization. One, the, the benefits rather. There's the, the health benefits. And then there's, I guess, the the, the so, as a solution to uh, to overpopulation of yeah. animals as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, now you said number one, there are health benefits. There are yes, we, yes. we prevent um, you know the, the overpopulation. Yes. Um, but why is it so important that that people neuter their dogs and how do we get people to be more responsible about the subject? Okay. Look, we are obviously residing in an urban area. Yes. Okay. So we need to we have to control the number of uh, animals that yeah. are out there. Uh, and that we own, uh, not only just for, for the population, but also for health reasons. I think people need to understand that there are animals, I mean, there are diseases that can be trans transmitted from, from animals to, to, to people. So one, one that comes to mind firsthand is rabies, though it's not such a problem in the, in the Western Cape, yeah. but it's one to bear in mind. So look, we have to put... Uh, try and, and resolve the number of um, animals that end up in shelters. And how we do that is people must just sterilize so that we don't have stray animals. Mm -hmm. um, the health reasons sterilization would help with, disease, with diseases like um, uh, cervical cancers with the females or prostate cancer with, yeah. the, with the male dogs. Mm -hmm. um, one, one particular uh, type of cancer that is a big problem in animals is what we call uh, transmissible venereal tumor. So if your animals are not sterilized and they're roaming around to have um, to, to spread their seed, they're likely to pick up this virus, yeah. which is actually a cancerous virus. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of reasons that people have for not spaying their dogs. Um, some of them that I've heard is, uh, my dog will get lazy, my dog will pick up weight, um, it's not good for watchdogs. Is any of this true? Look, to a certain extent it is because, for instance, let's take a male dog. What happens with the male dog is when it's still got all its, um, uh, its balls, it's, it's got a very high testosterone level. Mm -hmm. And the moment you neuter the dog, it's going to have a reduced testosterone level. So he's, he's not going to be as, as hyper as they usually are. And yeah, you then have to work very hard at exercising them, taking them for walks so that they don't put on weight. Yeah. And can ster sterilizing your pet uh, increase their life expectancy? Absolutely. Like I said to you, there's two reasons we would like people to sterilize. Mm -hmm. One, for the population control, and the second one is to control diseases. Like I said to you, there's a lot of cancers that we see in animals, and especially uh, genital uh, cancers. You get ovarian cancers, you get prostate cancers, you mm -hmm. get... Um, yeah, and then the other one I mentioned is the transmissible venereal tumor. Yeah. So if you want your dog not to have those problems, mm -hmm. you would you would rather sterilize. There we go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Harris. Yeah. There you have it. If you want your dog not to have the problems um, or the, the health issues that Dr. Harris was talking about, you need to sterilize your dog. It is what a responsible pet owner Absolutely. needs to do. Yeah. Thank you so much for being in studio with us. Thank Always you very good much. having you here. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Thanks Harris. <laughs> thank you. Strong South African dogs help each other out. With your support, Bobtail will supply 200,000 meals to dogs looking for loving homes. For details, see specially marked packs in store or visit bobtail.co.za today.